All right, so we're on a 2018 BMW R1200 RS with the premium package. So it's got the keyless ride, nav prep, we saw the paneer preparation, Gearship Assist Pro, featuring the DDC suspension you can see down there behind the key. On our right handlebar, we're gonna have our ride-by-wire throttle. On the top, our heated grips, mode selection, run cycle switch, our on-the-fly adjustable levers that we can play with. We also, on the left-hand side, have the multi-function controller to work our navigation system here. We're gonna have our high beam, constant high beam, trigger switch, cruise control, set, resume. We can bring that back or slowly bring it back, increase or jump it up in our speed, and it'll stay within the one mile an hour of your request. We got our horn on the bottom here, our left and right turn signals pushing in for cancelization trip and information for our board computer, turning our ABS traction control off over any mode, and our electronic suspension adjustment for the DDC. So if we go in here and we click our center button, now that we have our key within proximity here, we can go into the instrumentation. You can see our beautiful giant tachometer. Right to next, we have our frost warning. Then we're gonna have some turn signals, our warning hazard light, our cruise control light, you can't really see it there. Neutral, low fuel warning. We're gonna have our high beam, and we're gonna, and there's auxiliary lighting too if you had that as well. Then we're gonna have our ABS and trash control lights flashing for us right now, and they're gonna flash until we rotate the tires and it's confirmed to the computer that it is actually functional. As we go down into the instrumentation, we're gonna have different mo modes we could look at, three of them. We got our timepiece, we got our gear indicator, we have our tachometer. Tachometer is gonna enlarge as we go across the board and also has a bar coming all the way down to four. That's just showing that the engine is cold and we cannot rev the engine over that RPM until we get more temperature in the engine. If we come over, we're gonna utilize our trip and information here on the left-hand side. Our trip is gonna work our top little section going from our odometer to trip one, trip two, and then entering our setup menu. We can hold the button and go in there. That'll be setting up our GPS manipulating our user mode, setting our timepiece, our date, shift indicator on and off, brightness of the screen, format of the clock, the date, and board computer basic or board computer pro. We're gonna leave it on basic for right now. And reset and then exit back out. Our lower button goes through our range, our temperature, our engine temperature, on, we got consumption averages, one and two, average speed, tire pressure monitoring system, our date, oil level check, and here's our style. So I wanna change that. I wanna hold our button down and go into style one from style zero. Notice the difference in the tachometer and only having two options on the bottom. We can still go through, and I'll show you this in a second because I'm gonna come back to this one. We can still go through and utilize all of our options with the trip and information board. Then we're gonna have our style two, which goes to just an enlarged speedometer up there. Real easy to read, keeping it clean and simple for you. Now on the right hand side, if I get that glare off, we can see our ride modes. So right here we have our mode selection button. We're gonna click that and go through our road or dynamic modes and our user mode. So rain, road, dynamic and user. User is one that we talked about being able to manipulate earlier. And when user right now, it's set up a dynamic dynamic. Above that, we're gonna have our heated grips. Show us on our board, high or nuclear level as I like to call them, low and off. So if we go back over here to style one, we can still hit our trip information button, our trip button and bring it up and override our information button. And now we can go back through our odometer, our trip one, trip two, center setup for pro and all the other good jazz we just demonstrated. So that is the instrumentation on our beautiful 2018 BMW R1200 RS in this lovely white with the red frame that you can see poking out there. And while I'm at this distance, we'll see the entry to the fuel tank. So if I turn this motorcycle off, I can now keylessly enter my fuel tank. You wanna make sure and lift that tap up, push down and close it, ensuring it's closed. Don't slam it down with a hammer fist. And we're gonna get back to showing you more on the visuals of this motorcycle.